Andy Azo back at again with another video. This time it's Dimension Dragon Lost World. Finally I get to do a Lost World deck profile. Um, I'm sorry I've been gone for a week. I've been really just been swamped by homework last week and then obviously this week was Christmas. So me and my family went out so I couldn't bring my computer with me so sorry about that. And anyway since we're on the topic of that, Mary one late day of Christmas. So let's just get started with the deck profile. Um, I hope you guys enjoy. Boomerang, oh, so we're starting on some size zeros. Boomerang Dragon returns. 3k power, 1k defense, critical of 1. At the end of the battle that, um, at the end of its battle, regardless if it attacked or if, or if it was attacked, put, put a card from your hand to your gauge. If you do, draw a card and bounce him to your hand. So, you might be wondering, Jay, I mean, Vandy why is the, why is this not a dimension dragon? Well, that's because... Charge fodder, it gets me gauged. So, like, say I needed, like, say I was at one gauge for Lost World since Lost World costs two gauge, I could just instantly get that. And he also gets me, he also refills the thing. The only part I hate about that is that one, he has to survive the battle, and two, you have to pick a card from your hand. And most of the time when I've used that, I've had like so many good hand cards that I don't want to charge anything, but I want the extra draw off. <clears throat> I wear him at one. I mean, you can run them at two. That's like a tech option. Three cops of Dimension Dragon Olexki. So I, um, it's three K power, one K defense, critical of one. At the start of each player's attack phase, you get a gauge and a life. I love this card because it's essentially getting you the gauge for a Lost World, and you're gaining life. So even if you don't have Lost World that turn, you can still stall out the game more, and it's a size zero. What I hate about this is that you're charging from the top of your deck, and sometimes for me, that's end up. Being Lost World sometimes, and I almost lost a game due to that because I was playing Astro Dragons. They ran me down to two life when I was at 20, and they couldn't bring the impact out because they didn't have another gauge for it, but I'm pretty sure they had it in their hand. Um, and the reason why I barely won that was because Lost World was charged early in the game because of Oletsky, but I still went through my whole deck and found it right before I lost, so yeah. I would say, like, run it at three, like I do. Um, Dimension Dragon Achimos. I run it at 4 because I don't have anything better. Um, 2k power, 2k defense, critical of 1. Uh, when he enters the field, you gain a life equal to the number of Dimension Dragon monsters on your field. Don't think equipping the item is going to count where you call this thing a let's ski something to your center and then equip the item because it won't count. <coughs> it's just like a good game 3. Okay? 4 copies of Dimension Dragon Cremata. Ron size one now. 3k power, 1k defense, critical of 2, size 1. When he enters the field, if you have another dimension dragon on your field, draw one. I love this card because when I did this, when I did that fight against the Astro Dragon player, the second I got out of Lost World, I did such an annoying play. I don't remember because it was like two weeks ago. But I spammed the hell out of him with the combo between him and Dimension Dragon Apostle, so first size 2, which I will get to when I get to it. But it was so effing broken that I refilled my whole hand. And I somehow made the best comeback ever that I effed him up in one turn. Go! <laughs> Go Cremata. Simple plus one is just nice. Next up. Oh, shoot. I put this guy in the wrong place. He's a size zero. Doesn't matter. Dimension Dragon Odeo. 1k power, 1k defense, critical of one. A triple one, basically. Um, counter. Ca it's counteract. You may put another Dimension Dragon from your field into your drop zone and pay two life. If you do, search your deck for up to one dement search your deck for up to one card. Any card can be an item, a spell, an impact, or lost world the flag or monster. Um, and it put into your drop zone. If you do, shuffle your deck and then put the chosen card at the top of your deck, a once per turn ability. So like say your opponent was attacking you with a card that has like three crit penetrate and you had a monster on your center and ODO is on your field, you go pay two life, get rid of the thing, so you technically you reduce the damage by one, and then you get to stack your deck in your favor. Really nice. Broken as hell, too. Um, why did I put him back there? He's, like, a really nice addition. I really like how he helps out the whole entire searching problem. And he can also search for the last one himself. <clears throat> Next up, three copies of Dementia Dragon Apostle, starting with our size twos. Um, 5k power, 3k defense, critical of two. Pay a gauge when you enter the field. You'll get top three cards of your deck. Put to one Dementia Dragon Monster or Lost from among them to your hand. Like I said, I had so many hand cards, I just didn't have Lost Ward in that one game. 
and then after I got Lost World out and I was in my Lost deck, I went so far down into my Lost World deck that at the end of my first turn with it, even though my opponent lived it, I still, I had 10 cards left in my deck. I didn't have, I barely had crap left. I spanned my opponent. Okay, like four copies of Dimension Dragon Apostrio. 5k power, 6k defense, critical of 2. When it's destroyed, you can choose one of the following two. Either gain 2 gauge or gain 2 life. So, like, I've done this with Odeo where I've used the 2 life, kill him when I'm being attacked with a card that has penetrate, search my deck for a card, put it at the top, and then I used him to gain back the 2 life. So, effectively, I made the, my opponent whiff an attack for free, because who gives a care? Now, Entourage size 3 is my only one. I'm not running Ire yet. I will buy it. Agonia, I wish I had more money for it. Dimetri Dragon, La Mergia. 7k power, 7k defense, critical of 2. Pay a gauge and put the top two cards of your deck into its soul. Choose a monster on the opponent's field and you may drop a soul card. If you do, destroy the chosen card. It's not once per turn. Then if your flag is lost, world, he gains triple attack. Okay, I never use him for the soul as a wall unless if I'm actually in trouble. 90% of my fights that I've used him in, I've used that ability just to blast soul and kill off two things when I summon him. Otherwise, I mean, when I call him. Otherwise, he's literally just there for the triple attack after that. Now, to spells. One copy of Dragonic Gatebreaker. Pay a gauge to destroy opponent center. I run this because I have nothing better for Dragon World cards, and I would run another blue Dragon Shield over this, but I don't have another blue Dragon Shield available yet. Hit me up with anything better, and I will actually get rid of it. I just don't have enough, but I used to run three. Now I run one, so I'm kind of happy on that. <clears throat> Two copies of Lost of D. Put a Dimension Dragon Monster or Lost World from your drops onto your hand. So, like, it can search you Lost World, Apostos. Like, one time when I played this deck for, like, the first time, I went Apostos. Look at top three. There was uh, the item... Cremata and Lost World. I put Cremata because I had this in my hand. Then I went cast this, get back the Lost World. Since it's since Creme since since Apostle sent stuff to drop after you search them. Next up, two copies of Drago Trap. Pay a gauge and two life to use. Counter. Choose a card on your opponent's field. It cannot attack this turn. So if it has double attack, triple attack, whatever. If it's like um, bots, what um, turbulent warlord dragon bots dr bots Drago Royale the first. Um, I don't even know what the first part of his name, but anyways, you basically can rest him. But he's not being rest, he just can't attack. So you can nullify hex top attack. Blue Dragon Shield, you don't know what this does. Gain a gauge after nullifying the attack if you don't have a center. Two, co two copies, because I have better things. Like this. Two copies of D Death Struggle. Destroy a Dimension Dragon Monster on your field. Counter, rest a card on your opponent's field. Once again, a good card, like Aposto. So if you got. If I don't have Odeo, I can just go kill him, rest your card, so and then gain two life. So technically, no, if I like two attacks in one, really nice. And I've comboed it with Odeo too, where I go Odeo, kill Apostos. So my deck for loss, we'll put it on top. Go Apostos, gain two life, so I lift your attack, and then cast D Death Struggle, destroy my Odeo, rest your other card. Really nice. Green Dragon Shield. You know what this does? No fight attack if you don't have a center, and then gain a life. Really nice. Four copies. <clears throat> Next up, four copies of my favorite MVP spell and, like, the better Dragon Shields. D-Alteration. You melee cast a card during your opponent's turn, and you have a Dimension Dragon on your field. Eight, that can be the item, too. Notify the attack, then if it's the opponent's third battle or more, end the turn. It's like Gear God, where if your opponent attacks six or more times after he uses Overkill, the return is nullified. I mean, the turn ends. That's basically what it does. But better, because you can afford more, because you don't have to waste more shields. Two copies of Dimension Spear Gun, Karachia. Pay a life to equip, 5k power, 1k, 1 crit. Um, counteract. Just during your attack phase, your attack phase, choose a Dimension Dragon Monster on your field. Rest this card. If you do, stand the chosen card and draw one. I used to run four, but that's because I needed the draw engine. I run the better. I run the one that Rama uses, the um, reduced damage three, and what's coming up now. But yeah, I still go for Searcher. 2k power, 1 crit, Dimension K and Polina. Pay life to equip, act, you may rest this card to get you a gauge, which is really nice because the gauge thing for Lost World. And then counteract. If you have another Dimension Dragon on your field, that means it's obviously going to have to be a monster unless you have a way to equip two items. This is not Dungeon World or Legend World, by the way. Um, you may put this card into the drop zone. If you do, the next time you take damage, it's reduced by three. Really nice. You can pound by a heavy attacks, just reduce it. Finally, two copies of our flag, Lost World. 
you may choose, you cannot choose Lost Wars, your initial flag, and you may only have up to two in your deck. I run the obvious two. I'm going to buy the Ace Rare ones later. You may use Lost World cards, and this ability, and this card gets the ability to be lost. So essentially, you can still use your normal world with these, and you know what it does. Pay two gauge. At the end of your opponent's turn, put this on top of your flag card. Change your deck to your Lost deck. Okay, now into our Lost World deck. Arplo Penduliar, one copy, 20k power, 20,000 power, 10,000 defense, critical of three, put top two cards of your deck, put up to two cards from your drop zone into its soul and pay a gauge, penetrate, double attack, soul guard, and counter attack, bull. This is oh, annoying as hell. I wish I had more, actually. I would tech out so many things for that. I would, guys, I will pay you money, just give me it. Zorun Zorgin, 20k power, 6k D, 6 crit, 10,000 defense. It has moved. That's pretty much it. I run it because it's 6 crit. I mean, you're never really going to have an open center with this deck because you're not meant to attack with the items. One copy of Deegan... Uh, no, two copies of Deegan Zotra. 10k power, 10k defense, critical of 2. Pay a gauge to call it. When he enters the field, nullify... Pick a card in the opponent's field, nullify its abilities, and destroy it. And he also has double attack. Really nice. Four copies of Dimension... I mean, Whistle Field Ungain. Um, pay a gauge, put a card deck into the soul, it just has soul guard, and an 80k power, 8 crit, and 8k defense, so like a triple 8. I run it because the 8 crit. I fought my friend in a, I fought my friend yesterday, and I one-shot him with that, because he had 8 life left, and whoop de doo Three, four copies of Agonio de la Havalum, 15k power, 7k defense, critical 3. When this card is destroyed, you gain 3 life, move and penetrate. I like that card, that X card, because one, it has penetrate, and two, like, if you're playing a card that has, like, three crit penetrate, you can go, okay, it still dies, but I gain the three life back, so technically, you only accomplish destroying him. Four copies of Demonic Dragon Release, Vanity has to destroy it, because Lost World isn't complete without Vanity. 30k power, 10,000 defense, three crit. When he attack, well, he cannot be destroyed by card effects by your opponent, and when he attacks, destroy or return a card from your opponent's field to their hand. And he also has double attack, so essentially you can do that ability twice with three crit. Really nice. It's broken as hell. Now to our spell is one copy of Dimension Livestream. Choose one of the following two. You can only use one once per turn, but I only own one. Um, you gain 10 life, or you can change your opponent's life to 10. I fought a Dragon's Vi player who had 20 life, and I did... And on my first turn of having Lost World, I did this. No. <laughs> you go to 10. We could. <laughs> Screw you. <laughs> one copy of Dimension Jamming. Your counter your opponent chooses two cards from your hand discards them really nice it like just takes your opponent's hand so if they're like at two cards you can go have them charge and then draw and then you can go dimension jamie screw your hand <laughs> you you basically have to end your turn dimension revenge counter choose a monster in battle for this turn give it a hundred thousand power a hundred thousand defense and counter attack this is a normal plus three plus three counter attack this is a plus a hundred a hundred counter attack bull <laughs> I actually would run that. Normally I don't run those, but I will actually run that. Dimension Mirror. Um, you have cast card during an attack on the opponent's turn, and you do not have a monster in your center. Notify the attack and deal damage to your opponent equal to the total critical of all attacking monsters. If your opponent attacks you with the item, it won't go off. Unless unless you just want to notify the attack. I, I used to think this card was notify the attack if you don't have any monsters, but I was like, oh, well, crap, I'm never going to get use out of this. But never mind. Two copies of Dimension Shadow Gate, my favorite spell in this deck. When you are attacked, your opponent pays a light. If they do not, the attack is nullified. So, like, if you're playing a very aggro deck like Thunder Empire or something, they have to pay life every time they attack. Otherwise, they essentially get wrecked. Four. Run it at four at all times. I run it at two because I only own two. Four copies of our last spell, Vanity Cell. Rama uses it in the anime. Either nullify the attack. It's a counter. So nullify an attack on the opponent's turn. Or, for this turn, you cannot take damage by impact effects, such as effect damage by the impacts or impact damage like Gargantua Punisher, or um, DD Gargantua Punisher, or Liai. They just can't deal your damage. Finally, Carnage Destroy Blaster. I don't run the real impact because I don't have it yet. You mainly cast card if your opponent has 5 life or less. Deal 5 damage. Okay, it's really nice. It, can't, it can be reduced, but it has no cost, I guess. That was deck profile. I hope you guys enjoyed. Lost World is okay. It's just overpowered. It's not fun to use when you know you're gonna win most of the time. I mean, I've never lost with this deck. It's just that I came one close against the Astro Dragon player, but that was only because of luck.
Hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to like, subscribe, donate to the Patreon, and don't forget to raise your flag. Can you pull a buddy rare?